during your careers, which means you will have to continue to learn throughout life. The second lesson I've learned is that many times life is not a simple equation and hard work does not always lead to success. So we must also be prepared for failure. But let us stay positive and persevere until we succeed. In fact, there is no substitute for perseverance. Third, your altitude, how far up you'll go, will depend on your attitude. As you know, intelligence is very important, but emotional intelligence is even more valued to, in today's world. We must develop the skill of empathizing with people and taking them along. This is very important. And a positive frame of mind and can-do approach is what the world of work needs today. Innovators are also lifelong learners. So your learning does not end today you will still need to continue to learn, unlearn, and relearn many different things during the course of your lives. Learning how to learn would be the biggest advantage that you leave with today, and this will always stand you in good stead. This is an important skill that Dr. B. R. Ambedkar Open University has given you. As you graduate today, you are expected to contribute to your family, your community, and your country. In addition, you are also global citizens who must contribute to the sustainability and well-being of our planet. Let me congratulate you, dear students, on your well-deserved success. The world awaits and the future beckons. Each one of you can make a difference and as Mahatma Gandhi ji said, in a gentle way, you can shake the world. Thank you. Thank you, madam. Thanks very much. Now I request our honorable chancellor to give her a message in this convocation. A special good morning to each and every one here. First of all, I congratulate all the degree holders who has got the who, students who have got the degrees today, and with all hardship, you have achieved this. It's a great day for you. So congratulations to each and every one. The chief guest, Professor Asha Kanwar. She has presented a very beautiful presentation. The presentation revealed all the true things which is necessary to be known by each and everyone who are doing the distance education and open university. So congratulate you. So we are very confident that we have selected a very apt person as the chief guest today. Thank you very much. <laughs> Vice Chancellor of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar University, Professor Sita Ram Rao and Professor A. V. R. Reddy Registrar and Colonel Sanjeev Kumar, because I got introduced when we went to that institution to organize the degree course by the Ambedkar Open University for the army personnel. So that is the beauty of this distance education. And as Madam Asha Kanwar, she told, this open university is learning to learn. I can say it, usually we are learning to earn. And in the open university, we are earning and learning. So that is the beauty of our university. The time is very short. Actually, I have to catch the flight to go to Delhi for an important meeting. So 
my message only should be for five minutes. So it should be very short. But I have to say, because as Madam also told her, as our Honorable Prime Minister always says, you should not be the job seekers. You should be job givers. And apart from that, you are the people who even missed your opportunity of education at your younger age. But you, with your conviction and hard work, you got the job, most of them. And then you got the degree. In a lighter sense, I was reading a message. One person was asking another person, how many boys? You have four boys. What are they doing? What they have? Edu what are their education? It's in a very lighter sense, I'm telling. Then that other person told, first person is a BA. Second person is an MBA. Third person is an MCOM. Fourth person is a thief. Then the other person told, why can't you throw over that four, fourth person out of the house? The other person told, he's the only earning member in my family. <laughs> All other are unemployed. So, so this is the, the, uh, the uh, actually this is the uh, uh, real thing which we see in some of the houses. So I appreciate you because as I went to the army school, they got selected for their uh, duty to save the country. And then they are fulfilling that desire to continue their education. And my request is whatever may be the challenges, even as a student, when they are only focused on studies, they are facing so much of challenges. Yesterday also I went to the graduation day of the Osmania University. In a lighter sense, I told one, one student came to the professor's room, locked the room and told the professor, Sir, I will do anything to pass, to get a pass. I will do anything. Then again he told, then the professor asked, will you do anything? Yes, I will do anything, sir. Please tell me, sir. Then the professor told, why can't you read to get a pass? So the, even the main job of learning also, some of the students are not doing because they are not as it is said, we are all here because of the sacrifices of our parents. So first you have selected your career and then you have selected your degree and whatever may be the challenges, I always say there is no life without challenges. Life is not easy for everybody or anybody. Everyone has a challenge. Even the highest office also will have a challenge. So if I am uh, a governor, I also will have challenges. So don't think every, uh, no, everyone is very free and everyone is having a... A uh, very easy life. And I appreciate because of your family commitments. You have fulfilled your duties. And you are taking part in the responsibilities of your family. That is a great thing. Because nowadays youngsters, I also appeal. The youngsters, they are not able to face the challenges. But in a, in a classroom, they introduce the... the pattern how the butterfly is born. So they, the teacher gave a cocoon to everyone. They allowed the natural process. But one child just broke the cocoon to help the butterfly. That butterfly died because the, in the process with the flies, the butterfly should hit the cocoon with strong hand, fly so that with that strength only, the butterfly can gain its life and gain the challenges. So don't think that everything is easy and don't think that we are suffering. Everyone is facing the challenges and particularly corona period. One person asked, please tell the law of Newton's law. To a science student only, she asked. Then he told, no, I am a law, no, I'm not a law student, madam. You are asking Newton's law. Then the teacher asked, oh, you're a corona batch. I forgot that. So that is also because corona batch has a different entity, like a, a, like a master batch, bachelor batch. Corona batch has a different entity. You are with distance education. But the whole world visualized distance education during corona period. No other way. So the world came into your root so that whole world turned into uh, distance education then that added
some advantage to you. So nothing uh, I should tell and what I should uh, tell as a message and be courageous, be happy, don't compromise your happiness for anything and Corona has taught us a lot of lessons. Please look into the roots, have good healthy diet, who have good healthy lifestyle because if we have a healthy lifestyle only, we can lead the life. Because we have seen during the corona period so much, we lost so much of our loved ones. So please, even now corona is not away from us, take the vaccination, even take the booster vaccination and practice yoga and practice, take footsteps which are the traditional footsteps, which, is, which improves the immunity of us and let us all be happy and let us all improve our skills. That is my message. Every day improve your skills. Even our nail, which don't have a blood supply or nerve supply, 0.5 millimeter it grows. So every day improve your skill. Improve your skill will open your horizon for more opportunities. So each and every day learn another language, learn another skill so that that will improve our opportunities. And I have to catch the flight by 11 o'clock. So thank you so much. Be happy and healthy. Award of gold medals. Madam Chancellor, I pray that the gold medals and book prizes be awarded to the candidates who have been entitled to receive the gold medals and book prizes. I read out the candidates' names. Please start to move. Vasilili. Srimati Sushila and R. N. Reddy gold medal. Awarded to the student who secured the highest aggregate marks with a minimum a first division BA, BCom, BSc program by passing all the subjects in one attempt within the minimum period prescribed by the university for the completion of the program. Please stand up the all serial, serially. Move. There is no time to the madam. Madam has to go. Balle Sumana. 2018-19 batch. Balle Sumana. Madam has... She has been awarded another two medals also. Tummala Dhananjaya Chaudhary Memorial Gold Medal. Vasiredi Bangarama Venkata Kistaya Memorial Gold Medal. As a woman candidate, three gold medals awarded to the candidate. <laughs> Harsha Veena. Kurkal Harsha Veena. 1720 batch. Srimati Sushila Naran Reddy Gold Medal. Tummala Dhananjaya Chaudhary Memorial Gold Medal. Vasiredi, Bangaramma, Venkata Sai. Oh, Mokanish. Kisaya gold medal. And the line is nil batandi. Veena, Kurkarla.